Let's get the thumbnail for that SharePoint site page. So every SharePoint site page has a thumbnail as long as you have image somewhere on the page. As specific cases, when I select uh, my page in the site pages library, we will see that there is a nice little thumbnail here and, and that's my top banner. So we'll be using the Microsoft Graph APIs to get that. And I already, did, uh, I already did that here. I'll just reload to show that it's still working. So I'm calling the graph APIs from the SharePoint itself. If so, this is my SharePoint site, and this is API v2, which is where um, a graph APIs are. Those are the graph APIs specific to SharePoint, so you can call them directly from here. And we have SharePoint here. And then here we have the server relative URL to the page. So it's sites, CFO is my site, then we have site pages and about us. Then this is continued by drive item thumbnails, which is the graph API for that. Then it's zero. The zero part is my first thumbnail. So far I've seen only one thumbnail anyway but it's it's here probably we might have more thumbnails in the future and then this is large so large, large is where we're controlling the size of the image and then finally it's content prefer no redirect will will just keep that URL on the page otherwise we will be redirected to to a different URL but if we change that here to small, for example, we'll get a smaller picture here. Uh, but if we change that to medium, we'll get a different size again, and we can see the size from here. Now there is another way to control that, and it's when we type C960, then X999999, we'll get a different size again and it's 960 per by, by uh, 640 here as you can see so we can uh, use even uh, a bigger number here so it's uh, if I put 2000 that will resize to, to maybe the, the real size of the image here and as you can see it's a really big size for that but this is how in general you can resize your thumbnails and use them for different purposes from inside SharePoint. There is a way also to call that from the graph. So if I go to the graph explorer, oh, I already have the different query here and if I run it you will see that we have a URL at the bottom as a response. I can grab that URL and paste it here just to show it's the very same image there. So the graph URL is a little bit different. Um, what we have here is, I'll just copy, I already copy pasted that into into a screen where I can show it on a, on a bigger size, but here we are accessing the graph of V1, then we have the sites, and this is at the domain of our tenant here. Then we have the site, which is at sites CFO, then we go into the lists and we need to know the list ID. A bit tricky to get, but we need the list ID. Then we go into items and then we need to know uh, our About Us page ID. Again, a bit tricky, but that's the idea of the About Us page. And then we go to Drive item thumbnails 0 for the first uh, thumbnail and then large or you can control it by using the other way of sizing here that I've showed you. So this in general how you can get the thumbnail of a site page in SharePoint.